Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I have a review video. I just finished cracking open the eight set booster packs that came in my Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond, the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth bundle. Whew, that's a mouthful. I think I'll just stick with Lord of the Rings. Anyway, I've added the eight pack cracking videos to a playlist on my channel. Since the Lord of the Rings expansion is focused primarily for the modern format, in this review video, I will focus on the overall bundle rarity collation from the eight set booster packs and the overall financial value of the cards I pulled. First, I'll start with the overall rarity collation of my Lord of the Rings bundle. On average, the eight set booster packs in my bundle yielded one art card, one basic land, five commons, three and a half uncommons, one and a half rares, one foil, and one token or list card. How can an average pack yield half a card? Well, in half of the eight packs, I pulled three uncommons and two rares, and in the other half of the packs, I pulled four uncommons and one rare. Not including foils, tokens, and art cards, I pulled 88 cards from my Lord of the Rings bundle with the Folity Rarity Collation. 39 commons, 30 uncommons, 10 rares, 3 mythics, and 6 basic lands. Unfortunately, the duplication was present in the commons and uncommons. I pulled 3 duplicate commons in red, which wasn't too bad. However, I pulled six duplicate uncommons, which is most likely a direct result of the set booster pack collation focused on colors and themes rather than the random distribution found in draft booster packs. Moving on to the 10 foils in my bundle, I pulled five commons, three uncommons, and two basic lands. Not pulling a single rare mythic was a bummer. Okay, the other half of my Lord of the Rings bundle review is focused on the financial value. I am using TCG player market pricing for all value cards from July 6, 2023. I define a value card as any rare or mythic, regardless of the card's value. I also include any common, uncommon, foil, basic land, token, or art card over a dollar as a value card. Unfortunately, I didn't pull any commons, uncommons, foils, basic lands, or tokens over a dollar. I did pull one art card valued over a dollar. The only gold stamped art card I pulled from my bundle Mirror Mirror Guardian. From the list, I pulled a mythic Helioid God of the Sun, originally from Theros at $2.33. From Commander, I pulled Galadriel Elven Queen, which is a whopping 17 cents for a mythic. Come on. Now on to the rares and mythics from the regular Lord of the Rings set. Gandalf the Grey Ring Showcase was 27 cents. Mary Esquire of Rohan was 27 cents. Galadriel of Lothlorien was 30 cents. Sauron the Necromancer was 30 cents. Born Upon the Wind, 51 cents. Pippin, Guard of the Citadel, Ring Showcase at 55 cents. Baradur, Borderless Scene Art, $3.11. Boromir, Warden of the Tower, $3.21. The third highest valued card out of the packs, Andril, Flame of the West, $4.66. Call of the Ring, $9.05, second highest valued card out of the packs. And the highest valued card out of the packs was Delighted Halfling coming in at $21. Finally, each Lord of the Rings bundle contains four borderless promo foils. Two of them are uncommon versions of Samwise the Stoutheart and Gollum Patient Plotter. One is a rare Frodo Sauron's Bane at $0.37, cents, and one mythic, the One Ring coming in with an astounding value of $57.70. Without including the four borderless promo foils, the 14 value cards totaled $46.74, which is greater than the $45 I spent on the bundle. If I include every card except for the four borderless promo foils, the total value is $58.73. The financial difference maker in making this bundle a home run of course is the One Ring promo, which easily paid for the bundle by itself. I'm definitely happy with the total financial value of my Lord of the Rings bundle coming in at $117.36. So I'll end with my typical disclaimer, don't spend money trying to open cards with value equal to or greater than what was spent to purchase a bundle. I only purchase bundles because I enjoy collecting one bundle from each Magic the Gathering expansion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll be back soon with another bundle opening experience. Tune in next time to see what I crack.